Hello everyone, and welcome back to LEGO Racers. Okay, so last time we defeated Basil the Bat Lord, and now we're on to uh, Johnny Thunder here. So let's build a new car. And a new racer, so... I think I think we have to have the super cool Bat Lord mask. Um, and I think we're going to have to go with Robot Face again, because why not? Um, robot Face in a Bat Mask. Can we... No, can't change the view here. Right, um, I'm, not, I'm never sure what to go for the, um, for, for the torso. That looks interesting. Um, mm, yeah, it's a difficult choice. I think we'll have that, and, uh, some brown tra- no, that looks disgusting. Grey trousers? Maybe? Wooden leg. <laughs> no. Let's not have that. Uh, that looks awful. Okay, yeah, let's have these grey ones. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh, 9004. Uh, what about that? Hmm, that looks kind of ominous. Like he's staring at you. Right. Passle the Battle Lord's awesome, awesome car base. So let's build on this thing. Uh, the dragon head on the front annoys me a little bit because... I mean, look at how it's textured. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that was intentional or... Maybe that's just the quality of the bitmap they used. I don't know. It, it doesn't look very good. But anyway, so let's see if we can... Just put that down. Spin it round that down. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Now, hmm, I think we need something awesome on the back here. Let's, yeah, let's check out Basil's components. Now. So we've got a couple of shields. Oh, some flames. Oh, they look good behind the... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know information boxes came up. I, I don't... Go away. I, I, I don't... Go away. Thank you. Right. Yeah, so we've got these shields, we've got fire that you could have behind your wheels, theoretically. Uh, if you had enough room. I don't think we do here, but... That looks very cool. Uh, some of these weird, kind of sloped... Sloped 3 by 2s <laughs> um, Ooh, pole axes. Um, and swords. I like the swords. I like the swords very much. Um, I must feel we have to have one on here. We can't move it any further up that way. And it won't fit down there. So we might we might not have to have swords. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, could we... Would they fit underneath that? Probably not. Truth be told. And actually, we haven't put anything down here yet, have we? Well, we might have to... We might end up having to take those bits off again there. Uh, what's that? Some kind of scroll. Um, I don't know. Um, spurs? <laughs> I have no idea what these are. Maybe wands. It's all kind of spooky themed, isn't it? Um, kind of bats and bird gargoyles. Well, we've had a parrot, so let's have a bat. And this is starting to look basically like Battle of the Lord's car, but. Uh, um. Sure. <laughs> He's not going to be able to see past that, but at least it'll intimidate his enemies. Um, and I think we should probably have a crossbow um, for obliterating our enemies. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be enemies there, though, is it? Because it's going to fire into the back of his head. Okay, let's see if we can. I don't. I, yeah, we can't put this thing on. Um, Oh yeah, what about if we... No, they're not going to fit. Now once again, these aren't going to go where we want them to. Oh, they'll go there though, so let's have two of those. Okay, um, ooh, what about a uh, red spoiler? Will that fit? Is that going to... 
play ball today? It is, right. That's going to fit. Oh, I, th I almost feel... I feel like we should have something on the back there. Um, oh, I bet we couldn't put a bat there, could we? No. Oh, oh, mm, maybe we could, actually. Right, let's find Basil's parts again. There we go. And we can have the bat going down there, thankfully. <laughs> and we can go back to the racing section and grab that spoiler. Red one fits in with the, uh, the highlights on this. Now, will that? No, it won't. That's what I was afraid of. But yeah, we can move it forward. Um, any more? It's looking very generic at the moment. I'm, I want, I want something silly, silly pirate stuff. Yeah. Although that actually looks not too silly. I have that as a windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, let's have that. Some cutlasses, maybe? Oh, they'll actually go on top of there. Okay, then. If, uh, if it fits, they sit, apparently. Um, now, can, ooh, can we get... Can we get, like, a full cab on this thing? If we get some 1x4s from here. Oh, we can. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, that looks awesome. Well, I think maybe awesome is a uh, an overstatement. Are there any four long ones of these? I think we'll more sticks of these on here because I don't really like the look of that. Uh, of those just one by fours in there. That looks okay, I think. Who am I kidding? It looks horrific, but it'll have to do for now. Uh, now, there were some, like, crystal-y things. Yeah, look, I guess they're like torches, almost. Um, will they fit? No, they won't. Okay, well, I think that's everything we can do. Let's, let's save this one. All right. <coughs> so there's our techno vampire thing. <laughs> All right, and now let's face Johnny Thunder. So circuit race. Now Johnny Thunder's tracks are um, well, they're the first. They're they're Redbeard's tracks backwards, basically. So, um, yeah. Should still be quite fun. Hey there, I have to warn you. Me and my car are ready to win any race. But good luck anyway. Oh dear, that was an awful Australian accent. I do apologise. But, um, yeah, I think he's Australian. Old uh, Johnny Thunder. Uh, at least that's what I got from when I went to Legoland and... Uh, they did the live action show. That was very fun. I imagine him as this kind of weird mix of um, Indiana Jones and Crocodile Dundee. I guess that's kind of how he is. But yeah, he's a very sporting racer. Probably because he's Australian. By which I mean he's a good sport. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure... Yeah, I'm not really sure that Redbeard's tracks suit Johnny Thunder that much. They're kind of... They're all adventure ones, I suppose. But I mean, like... I guess the pyramids kind of do. If you're going on the whole Indiana Jones theme. But then you look at, like, the pirate one, I mean, I'm not sure. Moving on, let's... Oh, wow. Lost some ground there. Grab this blue. 
We look to be doing okay for now, though, although Johnny Thunder is still up on that side. And that is annoying. Oh, there he is, stealing our white brick. No, stop it. Alright, we're going to have to give him this. Ah. Alright, come here. Let's see if we can take him around this bend. Oh damn it! I I hit the hit the side. No. Oh. oh, we came in second. That sucked. Some bad driving at the end by me, I'm afraid. Still, let us move on. I'm probably still win this. Yeah, I um, I'm not too bad at this this one, I don't think. So we should be okay. These lava pits are so weird. You got to imagine the amount of lava in video games and the stuff you can do around it is a bit ridiculous. I mean, like for example in Minecraft, the idea that you can just kind of walk next to lava and be just fine. Or the the numerous race tracks where you can either race through or in lava <laughs> makes no sense. I mean, you would you would probably die if you got anywhere near lava. Although saying that, if we're on a planet with no atmosphere, then the lava would only be radiating. It wouldn't be conducting or convecting through the air. So you'd maybe be a bit safer from it. Oh yeah, a shortcut. I hope Johnny doesn't take this though. Uh, I'm not sure whether there's a green anywhere that we can pick up, and I'm not sure whether just to use this as a shield. Oh, he's behind us, look. But if we can find a green. Ah, there's a green. Come to me. There we go. So that shortcut helped us a lot. We might have lost there if we hadn't have, uh, have got the teleport there. And there we go, first place. <laughs> Pharaoh's Mumiga. I love these names. Robin Hood. So yeah, he's pretty cool, Johnny Thunder. <laughs> he's been in a load of the. Uh, Lego sets, I know that. He's like one of these one of these recurring adventure type characters. He's always a good guy, of course. Um, I think I think he was in the recent uh, Lego movie, at least for a couple of seconds. I can't remember where. But I seem to remember him being in it. Um, I know they did do a, a kind of nod to quite a few different past like Lego series and Lego movie. It was a fantastic movie, Lego movie, I have to say. It was, um, the animation was brilliant. The, the humour was just, I mean, it's comparable to the Lego games. It was silly, um, but not to the point of just being childish and stupid. You know, there were plenty of, there were plenty of jokes that adults would laugh at. Not necessarily adult jokes, but, you know, sophisti more sophisticated humour, and there were plenty of just silly stuff. Um, silly jokes. And the, <laughs> the plot line's actually quite touching as well, um, as it gets to the end. I'm trying to, trying to talk about this without spoiling it, but, um, yeah. The, it does. It does have a message in the end, despite what it starts out like. So um, I'll, I'll leave anyone who hasn't seen that to go and watch it, because I really don't want to spoil it. It's a movie that shouldn't be spoiled for anyone, in my opinion. That was successful, wasn't it, Johnny? <laughs> Try and grapple us from behind. All right, that's mine. Thank you. Might as well just keep this for now. Oil slick, yeah, that should slow him down. 
probably not actually. Yeah, first place. So mm, we're in very good standing for the last race because that means we'll end up with I can't I don't know eighty yeah eighty points. Um, which means if we come second this time, both me and Johnny will be on twenty. Twenty? What am I on about? Hundred. Um, sorry, I'll get twenty, and both both of us will be on hundred. So I'm not sure with I'm not sure who that means will win, but the past couple of times it's been me if we can draw. But I don't know. Let's just uh, focus as much as we can. And blow Johnny out of the water. There we go. That's my green. Thank you. Planning on getting. Oh, I'll just use this. Who cares? Thank you. Goodbye. And oil slick. Oh, wow, that was a good shot. It's like Indiana Jones with the whip. Alright. Oh. I thought I had that shot. And hopefully, we can hit him with this. Or maybe these. Oh no, let's get the teleport. Yeah! And onwards. No, we're not third. We're first. There we go. Keep this for now. There's every point in doing so. Or we might just uh, defend. That seems like a wise decision. We're not going to... Oh man. I was going to say we're not going to take that wide because they'll overtake us, and here he is. Take that. We're on lap three, so we... Oh, I, s I said we'd better be careful. There we go. Yes, take him on that corner. And we're out of here. I thought he might come up with one of those. But there we go. Win. 120, I think that is. Yeah. Oh, 110. Sorry. So there we go. Yeah, because you get 30 points for winning, don't you? There we go. First again. Let's claim our prize. There we go. Johnny Thunder's car set. <laughs> I like how he winks. It's very cool. Okay, so we've unlocked the new circuits, we've got the car set, and next time we're on to Baron Von Baron. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like if you liked, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time.